Hey everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and today I am doing another What I Eat in a Day video. Today is a little bit different, a little bit out of the routine. We are up at the lake and I'm out running errands with my husband. He's actually in a little country store right now picking up some worms so he can go fishing. But um, we are going to go get some breakfast and then we are going to go back to the house and just kind of hang out. And I'm going to show you what I eat today on our little weekend getaway. I'll see you soon. Blue cheese steak omelet. Oh my. Cream cheese, tomato slices, and Redmond's real salt. So I am obsessed with bird watching and I love little hummingbirds. And I set up my camera right up against the window. I have this little bird feeder and I just wanted to show you this cute little hummingbird eating <laughs> and peeking at me through the window. What do you got? Come on. What do you got? A big one. The big one. <laughs> what? Look at that big old monster bass. That's two. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, he's huge. <laughs> you bite your finger off. He's huge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got What a woman. What a woman. Zevia creamy root beer is so good. I also like this poured over ice with a little bit of heavy cream. It's like a root beer float. But today I'm just having it out of the can. Sitting down here watching my dog. Doing some fishing. On my hubby. Doing some fishing. That was exciting, catching that big fish. Sitting outside right now and eating some pork rinds. This brand is really good. This is the uh, Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. These have really clean ingredients. Oh, my glass is on, the ingredients are up here. Very clean ingredients. And I'm also having some electrolytes because we've been out in the sun. And this is the Pina Colada Relight. I will link that down below if you want to check out those electrolytes. They're really good, clean ingredient electrolyte powders. And so I'm going to sit here and relax for a little bit, and I will be back at dinner time. And we are getting ready to throw some steaks on the grill. I just went out to the garage and got my little ice cream drummy because that's where I keep it out in the freezer. But I'm getting ready to make some ice cream and get that going so that we can have some ice cream after dinner. So we are grilling some steaks. My husband's getting the grill going now and we're gonna have some steaks and I am gonna show you how I make my ice cream. I am trying a new ingredient tonight instead of almond milk. I'm gonna be doing coconut milk. I have it here somewhere, but I'm gonna set up and show you how I'm gonna make this and hopefully it turns out to be really good. Okay, so in my bowl here, I'm gonna be making the mixture and then I'm gonna be pouring it to the ice cream maker. I'm gonna be starting out with some heavy cream. This is a local farmer heavy cream. It's really good and it's just extra creamy and extra thick. So I'm gonna be using this today, but usually I just use regular heavy cream. Look at that, how thick that is, looks so good. So I am gonna be using one and a half cups of heavy cream. And this is very cold, by the way. You want everything to be really cold. And my next ingredient, instead of almond milk, I usually use almond milk. I am going to be trying coconut milk. And so there is the, there is one carb per one third cup. This is going to be my first time using coconut milk. I did not realize that you need to shake up the can because all of the fat was up at the top. So I'm making such a mess today. Okay, so I'm going to be putting about a cup of this milk, coconut milk, into the heavy cream. This is my favorite sweetener for the ice cream. I have made lots of ice cream over the past couple of months just trying out different sweeteners. This one right here, allulose, is great for making ice cream. It helps to keep the ice cream soft. You don't want to use allulose when you're baking certain things that you don't want it to be soft. And so I'm learning what to use allulose for and what to not use it for. But it's great for ice cream. And I'm going to be putting three quarters of a cup 
of this into this is a this is a one quarter measuring cup and then my last ingredient is vanilla extract and i'm just going to put maybe a teaspoon tablespoon eyeball it i am just going to take this whisk and get it all mixed together make sure all that the sweetener is dissolved i'm really surprised how easy making homemade ice cream is I never really made it before I started doing the keto diet and we really like to have ice cream in the summertime and so I got the ice cream maker and thought I would give it a try and I tried several recipes and this one here with the allulose does really well. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes for this to churn and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up now and that is it so we're going to go ahead and get our steaks on the grill and i'll show you what those look like when the time comes we'll be back it's dinner time and we are having grilled ribeye steak and salad with ranch you good oh yeah enjoying the lovely view here i will be back and show you dessert right now we're gonna go chow so we're finishing off the night with some soft serve ice cream. I probably could have let this go for a couple more minutes. It would have been a little bit firmer texture, but soft serve is good too. I'm having mine with blackberries. My husband is having his with some chalk zero chocolate syrup. So the ice cream with the coconut milk was sort of a richer texture. I don't know exactly how to say it. You could definitely taste a little more fat in the ice cream with the coconut milk. Um, in my personal opinion, I think that the almond milk is better. It's still very good and very creamy. I still think that I prefer the taste with almond milk better. So I gave it a try and I would use it again. I have a half a can left and I definitely would use it again. It was not bad, but I prefer the almond milk. So just wanted to try that and wanted to let you know. That is my video for today. We're gonna be stopping eating now and it's six o'clock. We usually stop eating around six, 6.30 and we fast, we intermittent fast until 10 or 11, sometimes even 12 o'clock the next day, depending on how we feel. So we are done for the night. I may sip on some hot tea later if I want something, but that is it for food. So I'm going to let you go for now and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out. I will see you in my next one. Have a great day and God bless.